Welcome to Horace Doughty YouTube. Every week I bring you three videos, a brief sermon on Sunday, a nature lesson each Tuesday, and a Lexington, Virginia history on Thursday. Today, I'm doing this video at the home and farm of Cyrus McCormick, located just north of Lexington. I encourage you, click on subscribe, click on like, and click on the little bell icon, and most importantly, please share these videos <coughs> on your social media platforms. Thank you. My books, entitled History Lessons from a Country Church, Volume 1, Volume 2, contain many photographs of the area, and those books may be purchased in Lexington at the downtown bookstore, and also at the bookery in Lexington, and also you can purchase them on Amazon. Today, the nature lesson is the weeping willow tree. Weeping willows are beautiful and specific and unlike other trees. Beautiful, eye-catching. And they grow rapidly, three or four feet every season. And they can grow to be at least 50 feet tall. And the weeping branches touch the ground, as you see right here, making a beautiful play space eventually for children because it can be like a big umbrella and they're totally out of sight. The weeping willow is native to China, but various species now are found worldwide. The weeping willow is the first to turn green in the spring and the last to shed its leaves in the fall. The weeping willow requires large space, 40 feet diameter for the limbs and roots, but it is not invasive, it will not creep. The roots love water. This, this particular tree is standing on the very edge of the mill stream for McCormick's mill. And I am told that willow trees can invade uh, broken and crook cracked pipes. I have never had that problem. But modern pipes do not get uh, invaded. Willows have a romantic aura, and you can look at them and tell. Often mentioned in poetry, and also mentioned in the Bible. And willows love water, but they will grow in fairly dry soil. Uh, so you can plant them almost anywhere and get a response. Should you plant a weeping willow? Of course, if you have space and you don't mind caring for it. It, it. it drops leaves and limbs, but it will not live but 40 or 50 years, whereas the oak and maples can live hundreds of years. That is your nature lesson for today, the weeping willow on the Cyrus McCormick farm near Lexington. Thank you.